Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel getting ready to read for the sign of Scorpio right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for all Scorpios. Energy can be reversed. Time is fluid. And if anyone needed a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. NatalieLuckyAyahoo.com And yeah, let's see. What do we have for Scorpio here? I need four cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do I have for Scorpio? Mm. What else for Scorpio, please? Spirit. One more card for Scorpio, please, Spirit. So we have material and spiritual prosperity with prosperity begins. I think that goes together, all right? Um, you guys are heading into this very stable place in your life right now, very much by yourself, but this is all something that maybe you have built on your own. So it's something that spirit is trying to confirm to you that you will get. We have partnerships and alliances with temptations. So someone is trying to come back into your energy here and they're wanting to reconcile. The temptation card uh, kind of makes me uneasy with this situation because I feel like this person is bad news. I feel like you feel like this person is bad news with the partnerships and alliances. Someone has maybe either a toxic relationship that's not supposed to be in their energy or they have toxic friends around them. Um, it could be because of your material and spiritual prosperity. They're starting to realize that and they want to come in here. Let me look at the numbers. 1, 6, 15, and 3. 15 breaking down to a 6. Two sixes represent harmony and love here, but I don't think um, that's what this is in this situation. I feel like this person is coming after your stability here. That I mean, we could pull more cards, but this is what I see so far. This person is after something, and I feel like you know this about this person. Could be romantic, could be family, could be friends. This person is tempting here. Or this person is very codependent here. And they need you all the time. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio right now? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me energy for Scorpio, please, spirit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Scorpio, for the end of this, uh, for the end of November, beginning of December, Scorpio. All right. So you have the Seven of Wands here, fire energy with the lovers here, Gemini energy. We have the World card, that's Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, the Knight of Swords, air energy. The King of Swords air energy you could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles here, Earth energy, Ace of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Wands here. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. So you could be at a distance from them. They're watching you, right? Um, they want to come in and bring you some sort of offer. Okay, this is what I'm getting, Scorpio. You're standing your ground from this person. You're dropping this burden. This person is a burden to you. Now, to you, they are, well, I'm, I'm sorry. To them, you are their soulmate. You are the one that they choose. They're going to come after you, you know what I mean, and, and give you some sort of truth. But they have this, like, impulsive, you know, this impulsive energy to them here with the Knight of Swords. It's like they come after you with words that just fly off at the mouth here they're not really um they don't think they have these intentions ace of wands and the lovers here so it's like they choose you but it's like how they're handling it is the the knight of swords energy narcissistic pretty much narcissistic energy bullying energy trying to bully you into a relationship that's how i feel that's how i'm getting it you over here you know what's going on we have the king of swords here with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands. You're fighting this energy back. You don't care. You're in your King of Swords energy. You know, you just don't care. You see this person as a burden. You're turning your head away from them. You're protecting yourself here. You're just not in the mood for this person. Um, 
because they're a burden and you want to put down burdens. You want to start something brand new. In the midst of your guys' energy, we have the um, world card and the seven of pentacles. So I feel like this could be a learning situation for both of you, but this right here is kind of like, it gives me a vibe of you ready to start something new, but you have to invest in it. Whatever you invest in, you're getting. Because you're getting something new here. And I feel like this person is after that. So it's like you have to maybe be quiet about it or either be patient about it. Let me see here. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to change or something like that. All right, let's see. Clarify the seven of wands for Scorpio. There's a seven of wands here for Scorpio. Yeah, we have the fool card. Taking a leap of faith, but I feel like you're taking a leap of faith away from this person here and you're trying to heal. This person wants to heal things with you and maybe speak some truth about some stuck energy. But I feel like you're cold to them and they're stuck. You know what I mean? I feel like you're just cold. All right, let's clarify the lovers here for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Why is the lovers here for Scorpio? Spirit. Yeah, we have a ton of swords. Um, this person's in denial. It's like they choose you, but it's like they... Yeah, we have the four of wands at the bottom. So there's been an end to this twin flame situation. This soulmate situation, uh, Scorpio. You've definitely changed your energy on them. Um, and you put an ending to it. But they don't want it to end. It's like... Or maybe they put an ending to something and now they're trying to come back. All right, let's clarify the world card here for Scorpio. Why is the world here for Scorpio? The devil. The moon. There was deceptions. There was toxic energy. That's why you're so defensive. You know, you used your intuition. You walked away. Because things came to the light about something that they tried to get away with in the past. Now you're holding back from them. And you're not showing your feelings. The wheel turned and now you're separated from this person. Now you're very financially stable here. This is what I'm getting. Alright, let's get the Ten of Wands here. For Scorpio. The Sun. So as soon as you put this burden down, as soon as you put this baggage, I feel like this person is baggage. You're heading into a new, happier day here without this person. I really feel that way. This is your intentions. This is what you're hiding from this person, the Ten of Wands and the Sun. You're hiding the fact that once you drop them completely, maybe you're, you're still sort of soul tied to them. Maybe I'm hearing a soul tie to this person. As soon as you drop them completely, you're going to be 100% happy. Um, and that's why you're being logical with this person. That's why you're in your King of Swords energy and you're not thinking with your heart anymore. You're thinking with your head and you're trying to move on. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands here for Scorpio. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Scorpio? The Hermit. Nine of Cups. They had to look deep within and realize that you made them happy, but... I feel like it's too late. It's over. It Yeah, it's over. Um, they feel alone. They feel isolated. Um, yeah. Let's clarify the King of Swords here for Scorpio. King of Swords for Scorpio. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Page of Swords. Immature communication. We have all kinds of... King, swords, and pages, and knights here, and they're all swords. So this is communication. I feel like when it comes to communication, you're too mature for them, right? They're in their knight of swords energy. You're in your king of swords energy. They can come to you with all of this bullying energy, but you're gonna cut them off. You're just gonna. You're, you're just too grown for whatever they have to say. This person could be spying on you. I feel like. You could be, like, watching your back with this person. Like, you have to watch your back with this person here. That's how you feel. Clarify the Knight of Swords here for Scorpio. 
Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're after your new beginning here. That's what they're chasing after. They're after your new beginning. I call it how I see it. Sorry, cross watcher. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles here. Then we'll get into the Romance Angels. Yeah, they're after your new st stable beginning. Seven of Pentacles, please, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles for Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Cups at the bottom. They're really happy. And they see this as a missed opportunity now. Because you're in your Empress energy. You could have more offers coming in. Maybe a water sign and an earth sign. But this person feels left out in the cold here. Because you're single, happy, and abundant. And you're healing from this conflict that happened. Maybe with a third party here. And you didn't doubt yourself. But we have the Seven of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. That made me laugh because in the beginning, I told you you were going to get some sort of new beginning here. And this person could be after that, right? We have that devil here, that temptation. Yeah. Don't let this person into your energy because I really feel like they're after the, your new stable beginning. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you want this person to come back and you take them back, please just be careful. Spirit is saying watch your back with this person. Just watch. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay. All right, heart-to-heart -heart conversations with engagement here. What else for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Scorpio, please. I need one more card to close this reading out. Okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Spirit is trying to be funny right now. Um, like I said before, you guys can't have a heart-to-heart -heart because they're immature in their communication and you're not. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You guys could be being honest with each other, but you're more like, you know, I don't have time to deal with this. Honestly, I don't have time to deal with this. Honestly, I got other things to do. They're like, well, honestly, I feel this this way and that way. Honestly, I feel this way and that way. And you know how they're trying to bully you into a, 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 um, a relationship here with a conversation. We also have make the effort here. Oh, I'm sorry, not make the effort. Why did I say that? I was hearing that though. We have engagement and chemistry. So this person feels like they can actually come in and swoop you off your feet with just chemistry and and an engagement but rushing in here I feel like you know better with this person here Scorpio I feel like spirits trying to be funny with these cards but you know better right um, I feel like you first for a lot of you you are moving on to a higher level of commitment with a person I don't feel like it's this past person I feel like maybe for some of you you have met someone and you do have chemistry with them and you can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them however with this devil energy all over the place and this temptation I don't think that it's the same energy in this reading here but Scorpio I feel like you know stay on your throne here Queen of Pentacles energy you are moving you are moving into new financial stable beginnings all right all right thank you scorpio i'm glad i can read for you i hope i gave you guys some clarity today if i did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos all right thank you namaste bye